Well, the UK government's been quite brave because uh, the Secretary of State's been outspoken in saying that the GM debate needs to get opened up and needs to get moving. And what he's done is he's exposed the fact that many consumers didn't know um, that we are actually consuming via animal feed, at the very least, those of us who eat meat, we will most definitely be consuming um, some GM because um, most of the soya that's fed to our, our animals, uh, pigs and uh, cattle particularly, is from GM soya. And we're kidding ourselves and putting our head in the sand if, if, we, if we don't know that. So I think now people are beginning to see that. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's really opened the argument up. So you're already eating it, guys. Uh, there isn't really much of a way to stop that and uh, you know you're waking up every morning and it's really not doing you any harm. There has been a huge amount of research, huge amount of efforts gone in and there is no known scientifically validated record of GM harming anybody. But still you know uh, people feel reluctant about eating it so let's think again then about what GM could do, what, what is the potential for GM. It's not just about making more money for biotech companies and farmers, there are um, incredibly interesting things in the pipeline. Um, we're about to run out of, oh, well, run out, there will be shortages of omega-3 oils through fish, we all know that uh, the fish stocks in the ocean are dwindling. We c there is no plant currently cultivated on earth that can reproduce those fatty acids but there is a GM plant available and this would be hugely beneficial to all of us if we were able to make sure that we got our daily dose and we all feed it to our children because it's good for their brain and there are various other nutritional uh, advantages to be had through a variety of products not just for us in the developed world although that's important, we all, we all care for our health, we're all interested in making sure we eat the right kind of fats and get enough protein. But for people in the developing world, it's huge, absolutely huge.